So feedback and adjunct questions have been shown to improve learning, but there's not much known about adding feedback to adjunct questions. And so we wanted to investigate that in this study. We also ran a couple of pilot studies in the lab and realized that um, a student's personal characteristics, such as their motivation and effort, may also impact how a student engages with the feedback. And so we wanted to test that in this study by investigating, does the effectiveness of feedback on adjunct questions depend on student characteristics like effort and motivation? So our hypothesis was that if a student wasn't putting in effort or putting in very low effort, they wouldn't get any benefits from feedback. However, if they were putting in effort, their motivation would influence what kind of feedback would be best for them. So students who were intrinsically motivated and really wanted to learn the material would benefit the most off of like increasing levels of feedback. However, students who were more extrinsically motivated and looking at it to get like a good A or just do well in the class for like GPA um, would not benefit off of increased detail, but just enough detail that they could um, realize where their learning was wrong and um, learn enough about the material that they could get an A. And so this study was ran um, with 55 undergraduate students enrolled in a summer cognitive psychology class at UCSD. And so it lasted five weeks. So it was all online instruction with pre-recorded video lectures during COVID. And the feedback was manipulated within subject. And you can see the counterbalancing shown on the bottom left below. And so we had five different feedback conditions. The control condition had no adjunct questions and just the video lectures. But for no feedback, we had adjunct questions, but it didn't show them, it didn't give them any feedback after they answered each question. For accuracy, they were told whether or not the question was right or wrong. And then for targeted, they were told why the specific answer they chose was wrong. For detailed, they chose, like, if they got the answer wrong, it was they were told exactly why every single answer choice was either right or wrong. And so students saw one type of this feedback for each week of the course and then went through all of the control conditions or all of the feedback conditions. And at the end of each video lecture module, they were also given a quiz. And then at the end of each week, they were given a quiz, a weekly quiz. And then at the end of the, the course, they were given a final exam. They were also given a pre-survey measuring motivation with four intrinsic and four extrinsic questions. So we didn't find any effective feedback, effort, or motivation on the weekly quiz or final exam scores. But when we look at the module quiz total scores, we do get a main effective motivation and effort. So students that were intrinsically motivated performed better than extrinsically motivated, and people that are putting in more effort performed better than people putting low effort. But there was no interaction in the total module scores. But when we separated the module quizzes into multiple choice and open response, we did find a three-way interaction. So for the open response, we found that high effort and intrinsically motivated students scored better on detailed and controlled. And so the detailed was what we predicted, where if you're putting in a lot of effort and you really wanna learn the material, you're gonna do best with increased effort. But the control was a little confusing. We weren't really sure like why we had gotten better, uh, better scores for like this group of students. And then we figured that um, one way of interpreting this would be that in absence of extra um, like learning materials given by the teacher, what predicts a student's performance is if they're putting an effort and if they themselves want to learn the material or not. Um, so it suggested that there may be a little bit more to um, like how students interact with material in the sense that student characteristics like effort and motivation may actually impact the effectiveness of giving different materials to students. But um, it wasn't strong enough evidence to say like this really does exist. And so research, more research is needed to explore if motivation and effort moderate the effects of feedback on adjunct questions.